Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue. Super Mario Bros. Chess is about what you would expect. It's the game of chess with Super Mario Bros. characters. And really, this is going to appeal to people who like Super Mario Brothers and want to play chess, right? So when those two markets kind of collide, this is what you're going to get. Now, the uh, miniatures are all pre-painted. They look really, really nice, I think. And then they have the names on them. So if you represent the queen, it's, it's printed on there. So you can easily read that. And I think that helps out with the game. Because, you know, I always kept thinking the princess was the queen, but she's not. Uh, she's not the queen. Uh, Luigi is the queen, which... I had to get right in my head, but it's printed right there on the miniatures, which is a great, great, great piece. Really, I'll be very honest, if you want a chess and you want an affordable chess, but you want a theme or IP and you like Super Mario Brothers, then this is the thing for you. Otherwise, it plays exactly like chess. If you're a fan of chess and you like Mario Brothers, this is a ma marriage made in heaven, right? This is the game for you. If you're not a Mario Brothers fan, there's nothing here. If you don't like chess, there's nothing here. This is straight up chess. And you're either going to like that abstract game or not, and you're like Mario Brothers, or you're not. As for the components, there's nothing great here with the board. It's just a regular mass market board. It does say Super Mario Chess Collector's Edition, which is kind of nice. You can see that it's very bland. You can see that it's just kind of put on here. Not, nothing special that you would say to actually make it a collector's edition. What you will hear, have here are some of the components. These are actually pretty nice. They're like this rubbery plastic. As you can see, each of the components here will have the name of the spot. So if you're not sure what it is, and this is a pawn for Bowser's side, and then a pawn, a gold coin for Mario's side. So these would be what they are. Very nicely done. I mean, they look like toys, and they're actually very, very nice. As for the bishops, you're going to have the two princesses here. You're going to have Daisy and Princess Peach. And then for Bowser's side, you're going to have two of these guys that will be there. And these two will be the same, and these two will be different as for the bishops. As for the knights, you're going to get two Yoshis and a birdie. You can see they say knights on them, and they'll kind of move in the L shape. And they're all pre-painted and look very nice. Although I think she should have been a rook because it's like doof, doof, doof how it goes out. So I don't know why they call it at night, maybe just a match or so forth. Then you're going to have your rooks, which will be toad and a goomba that you will have here. These will be your rooks. They look pretty nice, looks just like toys. And you get two exact replicas of these that will be included in here. As for your queens, you're gonna have Queen Luigi, which is kind of funny, I guess. And for the other side, you're gonna have Bowser Jr. So his child would be the queen. I expected maybe a wife in this role, but this is what you get. And then the kings, of course, are Mario that you can see here, and his nemesis, Bowser. Bowser's really big. These spikes are kind of spiky. Be kind of aware of that. He looks really cool, but he can tumble over sometimes on the board, so you want to be careful of that. They kind of stands up on his spot and is able to stay there. You also can get a custom insert. These pieces, these little plastic, you see the mass market stuff, where the pieces will fit right down in there. So it is kind of nice you have it. It's nothing nice. You can see the coin kind of sits right in there. You can kind of see that some of these with this Bowser will fit right in there. Um, and it, it gives you a little bit of a storage spot, but it's not. this isn't something that, what I would think of as a collector's edition game. So the rules for Mario Chess, you're going to see the co contents up here, what you're going to have, and a little bit of a setup and special rules. This is just a piece of paper that's rather cheap. One side is blank. And it's split in two. What is nice to kind of have this up because you may not know who is what. So it tells you that Mario and Bowser are the kings. The bishops are these characters. This is how they move, etc. There are some special moves like the castling and the impassant that you can do here and kind of how to check and checkmate. It's okay. This is rather cheap looking and it's just black and white as you can see. Here is Mario Chess. It's a very easy to play. Plays just like chess. Opening move, you can move two or you can move one. The rooks can move up and down or left and right. You're going to have the knights that always move in an L, either two up and one over or one up and two over, whichever way you want to go. The bishops here can always move diagonal. You have the king who can always move in any of the four directions on the board. You have the queen who can move in any direction as far as she wants to go or he wants to go. You're going to 
and then the other side is going to have the exact same setup. So it's a little bit tricky with this um, setup of how to play chess. So I'm going to show you a little bit. We'll kind of reset here. You're going to have everything set up. You're going to have the rooks, the bishops, the knights, the king, the queen, and so on again back. So very easy. The pawns can move one or two as they're opening a move. After that, it can only move one. Now, the pawns here, they can only ever kill diagonally. They can only take somebody off the board diagonally, and that's how they're going to do. So otherwise, they'll just kind of be at a stalemate for the rest of the game. The bishops can move diagonally as far as they want to go. Let's get a couple of these out, and you can see that he could go all the way across the board and take him off. That's an illegal move. And this bishop could get out of there. Now, the bishop couldn't kill here because they can only move diagonal, right? So this bishop has nowhere to go. We need to get a couple of these out. And then this bishop can go. It's blocked by its own person there. The king can always move one space in any direction at once. you got to be careful, though, because if the king, which is Bowser or Mario, is ever taken off the board, then you immediately lose the game. So that's how chess is going to work. That's a quick overview of how to play. You continue to move your pieces and move things around until you have a winter, which would be somebody taking them off of the board. And you can go all the way down, knock this one off, and so forth. There are no additional rules other than you have a castling, which is a special move that you can make in the game. Who should buy this game? Fans of chess? Fans of Mario Brothers. Boop. That's your market. That's it. If you, if you have a little one and they're into Mario Brothers and you want to kind of teach them chess for some reason uh, because you like the game or you just want to introduce them to the concept of chess, then this is the thing to get. It's relatively cheap. I think this could be at mass market games. I saw mine at Target. It's not very expensive. The pieces are pretty good for what you're going to get. It's mass market. You're not know, getting a collector's edition or anything, but they are pre-painted. They look really nice. So for that, for that market, here you go. They've delivered. Keeper. For us. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel. Lets us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching, and everybody else, keep playing.